Today we are unboxing the new Neo Remote. If you guys haven't seen these yet from Control 4, they're a really, really amazing product. The thing is, we actually haven't shown one being unboxed. And being that this is the thing to do nowadays, we figured, let's go ahead and get an unboxing of a Neo Remote. Let's tear into it. Hey guys, happy Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we have a fun one. When we actually look at this remote, we look at the boxing of it. Fundamentally different than any Control 4 product we've seen. For those that aren't aware, the brief backstory on Neo was that this was purchased by Control 4 about a year and a half ago. And they were looking for a new higher end remote. This company was working on it at the time to integrate with Control 4. And Control 4 said, well, perfect. We will just acquire you. So you can tell by just the overall shape of the box, how it's wrapped, how everything's laid out on the inside. This is a fundamentally different product and we love this new design language that Control 4 is going with. All right, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and let's take a look and see what we have here, okay? Oh, see, even to kind of dork out, it's kind of that like, felty suede feeling box all right still really pretty all right oh first thing you'll notice with the remote it just has a great feel it's got a real nice heavy feel to it it's aluminum so it's got that nice rigid um kind of cool to the dutch feel it's really impressive Okay, so we have our remote. Let's go ahead and see what else. Wow, it's almost like unboxing an iPhone. Okay, then we have our new little set of gadgets in here. All kinds of fun little boxes. Super pretty charging cord. Whoa, wow, that's the base for the remote. I really like the way they did that. You can tell things a solid billet of metal. This thing's got to weigh two pounds just this thing. That's super cool because one of the things I've noticed after all these years is that when you have a remote in a dock, it's real easy to go to pick up that remote and end up taking the dock with you. Um, this one, it just drops in there. Very nice. So we'll get some more footage of this too. Um, but it is magnetic. So other than some of the other remotes out there, we actually have to index them. This one, at, once you get it close, it just sucks right in. Really slick. Which is really, really slick. Okay. Wow, a charging brick. Very exciting. Uh, let's see, this is probably all of our little fun toys. Look at this, they give us some Velcro. Yay, just what we always needed. A cleaning cloth, a quick start guide, product information, yeah. So, one cool thing about these remotes, and part of the reason Control 4 did this, is that these remotes can actually be installed in the field without an on-site technician. So for our clients that are out of town, for some of you that are aware, we have clients actually across the entire country. So we could actually drop ship this directly to them. They could unbox it, power it up, and we could remotely identify it. So that's the nice part here is that since it comes with a little Velcro straps and everything, when you go and hook it up, you're ready to go. We don't even need to be on site, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Oh, of course, all of our little international adapters. So, um, being in the States, of course, we would throw, well, all of them except for one in the garbage. But really nice, the way they boxed it. Um, definitely different than the unboxing of the traditional SR260 remote. So, let's go ahead and get this thing powered up and see what we have. We'll go ahead and fast forward through this so you don't have to watch the whole, the whole update happen. Please wait while installing software. Sorry, a little bit longer. Okay, so it looks like it finished. It now by default looks like when it comes up, it'll ask, okay, which room do you normally use this remote in? 
So we're going to say we're going to use in our home cinema here at our design center. Assigning to the room. All right, there we go. Gosh, I can tell you the screen looks beautiful, nice and bright. Um, you can see we get all of our normal icons there. So with this remote, now it's actually powered up, I can go through some of this. So you can see you do have that pretty common Control 4 interface here with that nose or the Control 4 icon in the corner, the room name across the top. Um, gives us our option to launch the on-screen, which from there obviously launches the on-screen on the uh, TV or the projector in the room. Access to our sources from here. On the remote itself for hard buttons, we have volume up down, menu back, channel up down, our five button touchpad, mute, home button, and then power off. I can tell you the one thing I would like to see here would be some of our standard, um, some of our more standard buttons onto this remote also. Things like guide, menu, those types of features would be nice here. Just because I've found that certain buttons you just want a hard button to actually press ones that would maybe require having to look at the screen. So when you have a button that says guide, it can be really nice because you can hit the guide button while looking at the screen, waiting for that guide to pop up. Here, you would actually need to go into the activity and then click it here and then look up at the screen. But overall, I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. Uh, if we go into, for example, listen, um, and there we go. So all of, our, all of our sources go ahead and show up. Normal icon functionality. I presume it's a little bit slow because this is literally the very first time we've powered this one up. Wanted to give you guys the first time on it. So, right, we go into here, we can go into our Napster. Look at our Napster source. There we go, go through all that normal functionality there. We'll go back. Okay. Go back to our home screen for Control 4. Okay, yeah, we can go into our watch. And there we go, all of our normal sources come up. If you notice, on your Control 4 system, you may not have this. This is something that, uh, if you don't, you want to talk to your integrator about this, that we are using a Roku in this system. And that's what gives us the ability to have the icons for Dish Network, Netflix, those types of features. That's a really cool feature, and it's a partnership between Roku and Control 4 that gives us those direct access mini apps. And those can populate automatically based on if you have them marked as a favorite in your Roku. So looks really nice here. The screen moves quick. I like that functionality of it. It's fast when I hit home, um, click on screen. There's one of my screens that comes up. All right, I can go ahead and hit home again. Let's go into Dish Network. Brings up some nice big buttons. I do like that layout where those buttons are nice and big. So you can pretty easily know that my guide button is gonna be you know, right there. Be able to click that. So other thing that's kind of cool is it may be hard to see the camera. Whoa. The other thing that I like that I see here is that when you look down along the bottom, there's three little circles there. One is white and two gray. So it's kind of nice that it actually shows you the pages that you can flip through. You know, so now I'm on the leftmost page, middle page, right page. Really good feature set there. Home screen, it does then populate the top with what's playing, which is a pretty slick feature. Um, and that's it. That's the report on the new Control 4 Neo Remote. I hope you found this beneficial. I hope we got the content in here that you were looking for on it. If you wanna see more unboxings, you wanna see other stuff, definitely subscribe down below. We appreciate you guys. Okay, this is Eric from The Loop here in Boise. Have a great day.